With snow already falling for millions of people, you need to make sure your home is winter ready. Yes, you do. Joining us now is home improvement expert Chip Wade. He's got some tips to set us up for success in the season ahead. Chip, thanks so much for being with us. So I want to start with many people. They've already turned on the heat for the season. I know I have. So what's the best way to keep the warm air in and the cold air out? Thanks, Mike and Felicia. Yes, cold air outside is where we want to keep it. One of the biggest tips and biggest penetrators is that air gap that can happen when your caulk or sealant deteriorates between your window and door trim and your siding. What I found is actually something that's even better than silicone. This is actually a hybrid sealant. This is called an AMP from DAP. What's amazing about this is you can apply it in extreme weather conditions and actually you can put it right onto a wet surface and it's ready to paint in about 30 minutes. So this stuff is really incredible. Now speaking of winterizing windows, you want to make sure that you're checking your locks and your latches and your interior weather stripping. But a lot of times the actual culprit is the window it's itself no starting to deteriorate house. or rot. So what I recommend is looking at replacement windows that are aluminum clad. I'm actually just about to replace all the windows on my home with this exact same product. This is from Pella. This stuff is amazingly resilient uh, and it's going to last a really long time. All right, so Chip, we know that in the wintertime we can get storm damage, right, from heavy snows, from ice. How do we prevent our home from getting damaged? Well, what I recommend is breaking down that highway between your trees and shrubs in the house itself. Those overhanging branches allow insects and rodents to make that passage, as well as water infiltration. Also in your gutters, that's where a lot of rodents like to make nests. So what I recommend, get you some lightweight but powerful tools that are battery powered, that are cordless. This is actually an eight inch chainsaw from Ryobi. Also a hedge trimmer. These things are light to hold, but incredibly powerful. And they work off that same one plus battery platform that you probably already have tools for. So these are really great. I also recommend getting you a ladder that is really stable. For exterior work, I recommend an aluminum version. Uh, it's lighter weight, but make sure that it holds at least 300 pounds. I'm showing off a ladder here from a little giant called the Leveler. Look at this for uneven surfaces. Boom, automatic, super stable. And remember, always have a buddy whenever you're up on a ladder, it's gonna keep you safer. That sounds very important to me because just watching that gave me anxiety. Um, uh, some people are probably feeling anxiety about the way that these energy costs are going up as well. So, Chip, tell us about what else we can do to reduce the demand on our heating systems. No doubt. One of the things that you can do is make sure you're doing an insulation audit. Two of the places that people oftentimes miss, even in the construction of a house, is the headers over your doors and windows in your basement, those, that exposed wood, as well as your attic door, you know, the stairs that come down. Oftentimes, insulation is missed. What you can do is actually add a little bit of stone wool insulation. The stone wool is actually made of stone, so it's actually moisture and water repellent, uh, which is amazing. Uh, and uh, you can put it on top of existing insulation or start from scratch. I recommend about 16 inches of depth. That's going to be approximately R60. Rockwool has some great stuff that's available now that you can get. Again, that stone wool insulation is amazing. Now, we're all familiar with our air filters. We know that changing the filters is critical for our heating and air system. Oftentimes, though, we wait until like the new year to think, oh, baby, I need to change my air filter. With supply chains backing up and costs rising, the tip here might actually be go ahead and get your air filters now and don't wait until the new year to make sure that you're prepared. What I use is a subscription service. Um, I actually get mine from Atomic Filters. You can go on there, find your air filter one time, set up that repeat delivery so you no longer have to remember what is the size of my air filter, you know, or when do I need to change it? It's just going to show up on your doorstep. And again, just takes one more thing off of your checklist this year. Uh, if you're interested in more tips just like this, I've got all of these items plus more up on my blog at wadeworkscreative.com. You can find it all there. Chip, I want to ask you this. It seems like you've hit a lot of the more obvious things. Are there some yep. things that maybe aren't so obvious or maybe things that we would overlook when winterproofing our home? 100%. What I recommend if you happen to have one of these, find yourself a thermal imager. This used to be very expensive technology. You can now pick one up for, you know, $150. One of my favorite tools is actually the FLIR One Pro. That's F-L-I-R. It plugs right in the bottom of your smart device. You can actually walk around when it's cool uh, or when it's warm uh, on the inside and cool on the outside. I just like to go to the outside and just shine it around the perimeter of all your doors and windows up at, up at your roof line. You're going to see where heat is transitioning. 
It's going to allow you to spot focus that insulation audit or spot focus exactly where you need sealant or weather stripping. That's one of the easiest things all homeowners can do. I keep one of those little devices in my computer bag all the time. And it's something that's not too expensive, but can make huge difference in your energy costs. Mm -hmm. Chip, are you available to uh, like do audits at my house? Like, can I hire you? Are you for hire? <laughs> hey, if you got the money, I got the time. <laughs> well, there you I, go. I can't afford Chip. <laughs> you never know. We just you told know. you how to do it yourself. There you go. Uh, Chip, thanks so much. Home improvement expert Chip Wade joining us here with some great advice. Chip, thanks. Mm -hmm.